I think poverty is definitely a state of mind and also a socioeconomic reality. So depending where in the state of mind, some of the richest, most wealthiest people in the world are poorest when it comes to happiness, love, trust. Mm -hmm. They're living that type of poverty. They're lacking that humanity, that humane interaction. But then, of course, growing up in an immigrant, lower to middle class family, poverty, yeah. You, I think poverty for me is something you can taste. And when I say taste, it goes from experiences in school where I wasn't a kid who brought lunch, who I didn't have a lunch sack with, like, all these fruit snacks, all these, like, juices and all that to trade at recess. Like, and it, sometimes it was intimidating because the food I brought was seen as, like, poor people food. Like, beans and rice are a staple to my culture and my, my people and what we eat. And I shouldn't say my people because it's... It's, 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 it's food. It's, it's a worldwide food doesn't have a nationality. It just has different spices, which is beautiful. But also I think poverty is something that's very systematic. Um, it is very... It, it's a tool that's used as an, a tool of oppression. You don't let people progress. You don't have people to have access to resources, access to education access to life, living freely. Like, some people can never leave their, their confines or like they're, they're limited geographically because of politics, because of identity, because of your skin tone. And those are also forms of poverty because this person that you're like limiting from resources and access could be the next person that really changes the world or really discover something new that we can use as a, for humanity. But again, it's, it's another system that, that's in place because the earth never charged us for the air we breathe. She never charges us for the water we drink, the fruit she gives us. She doesn't charge us for that. So poverty was something that was created. And I mean, where I grew up, our soil is very rich. People shouldn't be asking, what are we gonna eat today when there's a rich soil? And the food gets exported elsewhere, where it's going to get thrown out by Safeway, Trader Joe's, like all these companies, they're going to throw out all these food. Like when, again, there's people, with, even within the cities that throw away the food, that don't eat. Like why are the people still starving in Oakland, in California, one of the top ten economies, and there's still people going with hunger? That makes no sense. So I think poverty is another systematic tool of oppression, and whatever's constructed can be deconstructed.